I'm sure that you know Lodge by their famous cast iron pans, but did you know they also make one of these? It's a silicone egg ring. And imagine my surprise when I found one of these in the store. Well, today I'm gonna to show you how to use this guy and help you determine whether it deserves a spot in your kitchen. Hello and welcome to I Want to Cook. My name is Chef Matt and this channel is all about helping you be a better cook no matter your skill level. And yes, today we are going to try out this little guy. This is a uh, silicone egg ring by Lodge. And all it really is is a little uh, kind of rubber gasket here that you put in your pan and uh, it's got this little lifter to kind of help you lift it out. And this is used when making eggs if you want a perfectly round egg. So let's give this thing a shot and see how it works. Oh, and I should let you know, this isn't like sponsored by Lodge or anything like that. I spent my whole $5 to buy this uh, little silicone egg ring. I think they retail for a little bit more if you see them online. This is a smaller model. I think this is four inches. There's also a larger eight inch, but uh, this is the smaller one of the two. Okay, the first thing we'll do is just heat our pan over about medium, medium low. Uh, this says that it is safe for up to temperatures of about 450 degrees. So we're just gonna use about a uh, medium, medium low. That should be totally fine for this. Uh, I also like to actually crack my eggs into a little uh, ramekin first before I actually put them in this egg ring because I am notorious for having shells get into the eggs that I crack. Okay, so uh, first thing we'll do is put a little butter in the pan, and when the butter is sizzling, uh, you'll know that uh, the, the pan is now nice and hot enough to use this. You wouldn't want to just kind of put this ring in a cold pan and uh, then try to put an egg in it. That, that wouldn't work really well. And just in case you're wondering, no, you don't have to use a large cast iron pan with this egg ring. You can, of course, use uh, really any type of pan you have. A nonstick will also work just as well. Now you'll notice that there's actually two different sides to this. One has a larger diameter and one has a little smaller diameter. Why don't we just use the smaller diameter? So I'm just gonna set this right in here and I can see my butter melting. Uh, you could also use oil for this if you don't wanna use butter. And we're just gonna put the egg right into the silicone ring. And what's nice about this is, is you can see you're gonna get a perfectly round egg. And if you really wanna be a perfectionist, you could even move that yolk right into the middle so that it's perfectly centered. So all we really do is we just kinda of let this cook for a couple of minutes. And if you get one of these, you'll kind of know the timing. If you cook it for not long enough and you lift this up, you'll see that the egg runs out. For my pan, I've timed it and it's about two or three minutes that really works well. Now, one of the benefits of using a ring like this is if you want a sunny side up egg, that's where the yolk is on top. This makes a really nice presentation. Now, I like my eggs uh, a little firmer, so I'm gonna flip this. So basically what you do is you just kind of take this little rubber handle here, and it's not hot. That's the beautiful thing about this. So we're just gonna kind of lift this up and see we have a nice, perfectly round egg. It hasn't spilled out. This has retained that egg. So again, if you wanted it sunny side up, you could just put it on a dish just like that. I'm gonna give this guy a flip. So I've got a spatula here. Lift and flip. And we're just gonna let this cook and then we will have a perfectly round egg. Go figure. here we are, a perfectly round egg. So if you've ever wanted uh, your egg to be perfectly round and not kind of running and spill all over, well, then this little guy can do the trick. 
Now you might be wondering, uh, could you use this for a scrambled type egg where you don't have the yolk showing uh, and the yolk is, is not separate, where it's all kind of mixed together? Well, you actually can, but to be honest with you, I haven't had as good of results doing it that way, but let's give it a try. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so same deal. I have heated this pan over about medium, medium low. I have scrambled an egg. Now what we'll do is just kind of pour it in. And let's see if this works out a little bit better. Uh, when I was testing this before, I noticed that it, it takes longer to cook when doing it this way. And I don't know if that's like, you know, the extra milk that's in the egg or what's going on. But once in a while, I would lift this prematurely and I would have it spill all out. So here's a tip. If you're going to cook uh, an egg this way, cook it for a little bit longer or you can also take a plate and just kind of put this over here and have it act like a lid. Or if you have a small lid, you can just kind of put that lever down and put a plate on top. That's gonna to help act as a lid and help this cook faster. Okay, this has been cooking for a few minutes and uh, I can see some smoke starting to come up. This pan is really getting hot. Now, if you do use a uh, plate or a lid, of course it will be hot. It doesn't have a little handle like this, this silicone guy, so be careful. So hopefully this should be okay because I can see that the top of the egg has set. So I'm just gonna kind of reach here, grab this little handle and gently pull up. Yeah, and see, we're still getting a little bit of spillage on the side here, but it's not that bad. So we'll just kind of take this spatula, go underneath, flip, and we still have a pretty round egg, but as you can see, it's, it's not perfectly round. You're gonna have to do a little bit of egg surgery at the end, and kind of maybe snip off some of uh, where it ran out here on the other side. Now you might be wondering, uh, couldn't you just make eggs like that in a metal ring like this, like this cookie ring here or this dough ring? Well, mm, maybe, but uh, honestly, the results I've had are not nearly as good as the eggs that I get when I use a dedicated silicone ring like this. When I uh, try to cook eggs in this, it's a pretty messy affair. First of all, the eggs tend to stick to the side. Uh, this ring can get pretty hot. Um, it's just, it's really not that easy. So does this little roughly $5 device deserve a spot in your kitchen? Well, you know, it certainly does for mine. I make eggs a lot. I use them in egg sandwiches, often in the mornings. And if you're the type of person who likes perfectly round eggs, or uh, maybe you want to even make something like pancakes in this, and you want them to be perfectly round, I'd say go for it. You know, it's pretty inexpensive. It's pretty easy to clean. You can hand wash it or you can throw it in the dishwasher. And you know, that's how to use one of these. Now, as you can see, uh, I think it does better when making uh, eggs that have not been mixed. Uh, this one turned out better. This one's, you know, a little bit on the burnt side. If you're trying to make scrambled eggs, it can do it, but it's just not quite as easy. So that's the lowdown on this Lodge silicone egg ring. I hope you found this helpful. If you buy one of these things, let me know how it turns out for you. I'd really be eager to hear. Hey, as always, thanks for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you are new to the channel, welcome. Welcome to my kitchen. If you have any questions or recipe requests, put those in the comments below. Maybe I'll get to them on a future episode. Until next time, I hope that you want to cook.